The neuroscience is a wonderful field because it has a spectacularly interesting basic science, what could be more interesting than the biology of the mind, but also it dovetails very beautifully with neurology on the one hand and psychiatry on the other. There are lots of clinical problems in neurology and psychiatry that we don't understand very well. Uh, particularly true in psychiatry where it's hard. Our understanding in schizophrenia and depression is very limited. When I began, it was very, really very difficult to do terribly meaningful experiments in relationship to behavior and neurophysiology in the mammalian brain. And that's why people like myself sought out simpler things. But now, you know, with imaging, with multiple electrode recordings, with various kinds of new methodologies, one can do beautiful experiments. So our ability to tackle more complicated problems has improved greatly. Neuroscience is evolving very beautifully. For somebody like you who's interested in psychiatry, what's the most important problem? And I said, memory. Well, one can carry out things like thinking, remembering. You learn something one day, you call it back at will, a day later, a week later, a month later, what's happening in the brain. Right now, I'm interested in age-related memory loss. Uh, it's become clear that um, uh, Alzheimer's disease is not the only disease that interferes with intellectual function as people age. There's actually a much more common disorder, which is called age-related memory loss. Um, and if one could help with that, that would be very important.